What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at this absolutely insane R-Pod by Forest River. I mean, just look at the suspension back there. That is super, super cool. They've done so many cool things with this unit. I love the overall look of it. It just looks super off-road capable. I mean, there's just so many things to like about this. We're going to talk about it in depth. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, as always, let's start by taking a look at the numbers. Man, my eye keeps getting drawn to that awesome suspension right there. And that's been around for a while. There's been other units that have that, but every time I see it, it's super cool to see that a manufacturer, especially one like our pod, has gone with the suspension like that. Love it. Anyways, this is going to have a dry weight of 5,228 pounds, a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,506 pounds, and a cargo capacity of 2,261 pounds. If you're careful in terms of cargo, if you're careful in terms of how you place the weight on this unit, this is half ton towable with the right half ton truck. Definitely wanna make sure you have the cargo capacity when everything is said and done after you've loaded the truck up with people, supplies, cargo, all of that, to be able to handle the tongue weight of this unit. Um, it's not crazy long. If you look at that, it's 25 feet long. Again, 5,228 pound dry weight, which means, again, there are a lot of half ton trucks that could tow this. Our Denali could tow this. We just have to make sure that we keep the tongue weight to about 800, 900 pounds. And keeping that in mind, that would only leave us about 600 pounds worth of cargo capacity left on the truck. So our Denali may not be the right vehicle to tow something like this if we're loading the whole family in it. So just keep that in mind. You always wanna pay attention to all the numbers but it's certainly a cool setup. Anyways, we're gonna take a look at the inside of this and we're gonna come back out and take a look at the outside. All right, I'm gonna go up the more I'd step above steps into this R-Pod RP202. Asdell composite sidewalls, very nice. And this has the beast mode package, which is that awesome suspension underneath it. All right, stepping inside. This is super cool. I love the contrasting tones. That's the first thing that I noticed when I came in. Check this out. You have this beautiful, beautiful dark area here with this really nice kind of neutral, looks like a wood top countertop, even though it's more of a thermofoil. Very cool. But then you have this really nice kind of a cream sofa. That is absolutely awesome. This looks gorgeous. Check it out. And look at the faucet. This is beautiful, plus the huge sink. I love the interior of this R-Pod. They've done such a great job. Might as well look at the pricing since we're here. 23 our pod 202 msrp is 52,352 sale price 35,310 it's not too bad honestly comes with tire pressure monitoring has solar already on top of it and again a lot of really cool little upgrades that you might not expect has a furion 12 volt refrigerator freezer that really does a good job of matching this whole space right here. I mean, let me step away from it so you can see what we're looking at. That just looks absolutely gorgeous. The countertop right here makes it pop. I mean, it really does, it looks great. Then you have your compact microwave right there. Very cool, and this is a convection microwave as well. Something worth pointing out. A lot of little upgrades that you may not notice. And then over here you have your two burner Suburban cooktop with a nice glass lid. Good size window back here as well. The blinds are, let me see what we got going on here. So they are standard pleated blinds. It would have been really nice to see something that blacks out a little bit more. Not a huge deal for this space, but you know, something that you typically like to see. I would love to see blackout shades on the windows though. I think that would be a really, really big perk. And you know what would be kind of interesting as well? I know it would raise the price significantly, but dual pane windows, just to give it a little bit more of that livability factor if you're in the extreme heat or cold. All right, you got three windows that wrap around this really cool kind of entertainment seat area. This is how you release your entertainment seat. And then right here, check this out. It's also a jackknife sofa. So it's an entertainment seat sofa that also turns into a jackknife bed. That is awesome. And let's see if I can do this one-handed. Yep. Very cool. And that is in the one slide out that this unit has. No carpet in this entire unit also. I like how they've continued that dark theme on this wall as well. 
So you have a nice huge storage area back here with adjustable shelves. Love seeing that. And more storage down here. A lot of storage. That is really, really great utilization of that space. Got your TV on the wall. Got your controls right here for your lighting, as well as your tank monitoring. Your stereo systems there. You have your Greystone panoramic fireplace. More storage right there. A lot of storage here. So this is wardrobe storage. It's very nice. Not in the bedroom, but it's still nice to have it there. We're going to step up here a little bit. All right, so you have a good size shower. I mean, everything in this space is a really good size. I love the contrasting tones again. That dark finish, really, really cool looking countertop. Small cornered sink, which I'm totally cool with. I love the fact that it doesn't take up too much room. So you have spots for your toothbrush and toothpaste. Nice medicine cabinet above it as well. Another area here for your towels and toiletries. And you have some drawers beneath it. And some storage under here as well. Plus you have a really cool onboard vacuuming system, the road vac. Over here you have a, is it porcelain? Nope, that is a plastic foot flush toilet. You have your shower stall with the shower miser, which is basically this little tube right here. It changes color when you know the, the water's hot. So it basically recirculates the water in here until it gets hot enough so you turn it on, you're not wasting any water. It's actually pretty brilliant. All right, stepping into the bedroom area. Looks like a queen size bed. You have storage on each side as well with a cool little frosted inlay in the center. Might be hard to tell from the video. Then you have power USB, everything down here on both sides, I believe. Yep, to charge all your equipment. You have more windows in here and a front window. And what's really cool about this unit is just how tall the ceilings are. It's surprisingly tall considering how compact this is. Um, you could probably easily be upwards of about 6'3 to 6'4 and walk around in here without hitting your head until you get to this area over here. Spot to hang your TV, more storage here as well. And this is one area that adds weight to the unit, but definitely adds more appeal to it. So this cabinetry, a lot of RVs, you wouldn't see any of this here because they want to shave weight. But, you know, wood weighs quite a bit. And when you put all of this here, it definitely adds weight. But they've given you some function here with storage and a spot for your TV. And it's trimmed off beautifully. So it looks really nice. But again, I can't get over how much I love just the way this looks out here. What do you guys think? Anyways, let's head outside. Take a look at the outside of this unit. Okay, so we're going to start from the front and work our way back. Again, you see that huge front windshield. That's awesome, and I believe it does lift up as well, so you can actually let a really nice breeze come through the unit if you want. Power front tongue jack, spot for a single 20-pound propane can. Would have been nice, or actually a 30-pound propane can. I believe so. I'd have to open all this up to check. But yeah, it looks like a 30-pound because it actually protrudes off the bottom a little bit. That probably blew off or broke off during transport. But yeah, you definitely have a good amount of propane if that's a 30-pound. Spot for two batteries. You have scissor-style jacks all around the corners. You can definitely see how high the frame sits versus most. You have this Kurt fully independent suspension system, complete with shocks as well as coil springs and joust bumpers. A really nice frame. This is all part of that beast mode package from Lippert and Kurt. Power awning above, window right there. Some really cool basic graphics going down the side. Looking at this side, let's see what our storage looks like has a good size pass-through storage. You can see your aluminum bath deck up there as well. Good storage options in this unit. Just again, that whole setup right there just looks absolutely amazing. You have this glass door. Looks beautiful off of the side of it. Definitely gives it that nice contrasting tone as well. More right step above steps outside of your water heater. Interesting to see the water heater on this side. You typically don't. Or scissor jacks, four inch tubular bumper. You have your Westlake off road tire back here. I think the main tires are they Westlake as well? Yes, they are also Westlake tires. Schwintech slide out mechanism here. You have a 30 amp connection, sewer connection, cable satellite. Over here, sewer connections right here. Okay, so this is for your bathroom, and the one on the other side is for your kitchen. Black tank flush, city water connection, and this is for your stored water. Other side of your pass-through storage. 
This is really, really cool. Nice LED side markers as well. What do you guys think? I mean, when it comes to our pods, they've always been more compact. They've always been more, you know, towable by the majority of vehicles, but this is a little heavier than your typical R pod, but it has so many cool upgrades, such as that beast mode chassis and suspension, which is really, really cool. But I'd love to get your take. What do you guys think of this unit? Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, I'd appreciate it if you took a quick moment, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.